What's up everyone, I'm Callum on Toast and in today's video I'm going to be showcasing some crazy battles in the Open Ultra League featuring a triple shadow team all running the newly buffed Trailblaze for some non-stop boosting action. Now in the lead I've got my 100% IV level 50 shadow giraffe rig and as much as it pains me to say this it was definitely the worst performer on the team but I suppose Trailblaze is probably best suited in the closing position to ramp up the damage when shields are down and completely run through teams so I'm not going to be too harsh on it. Now typically the game plan was once I started throwing Trailblaze with a Pokemon, I tried to keep it alive and just continue ramping up the damage to see how far I could take it, and that wasn't necessarily the optimal gameplay every single time, but it was certainly the most fun and it led to some crazy games. Also, since I've been doing a few full Evolution Line theme teams as of recent, I was thinking of bringing back the full Scyther Evolution Line and running all three of them with Trailblaze in the Ultra League. So if this video gets 500 likes, I will bring back that theme team, but I need to know that you guys want to see it because unfortunately my recent Raihorn video is my worst performing video so far this season and I actually think it had some of my craziest gameplay in a very long time as I was able to overcome so many huge core breakers to the team over and over and over again so if you do want to see that video please leave a like on the video right now but with that being said let's get into the question of the day which typing would you like to see get a trailblaze clone next season and which move would you update or would you introduce a completely new charged move let me know in the comment section down below and with that being said let's get into the battles now. Alright, so going into the first battle, it's Shadow Giraffe Rig into Talonflame. So not the best matchup for us, but I will be able to outpace them to a Psychic Fangs before they make it to a potential Flame Charge or Fly or Brave Bird or whatever they want to throw. And we grab an early Shield Advantage. So at this point, I'm happy to let Giraffe Rig go down here. Definitely going to take that advantage. Come in with my Ampharos. They are debuffed in their defense and they're going to swap out there into Clefable now. We're going to fire off the first Trailblaze of the video. Trailblaze not going to do too much damage the first time we throw it, but it will boost up our attack here and just make us more deadly each time we throw it so gonna use my shield as they did farm up a ton of energy unfortunately they bait with a swift there but i'm able to win cmp firing off another trailblaze trailblaze grabs the final shield there as it would have taken them out there and the opponent clearly weak to amphros in the back but i'm actually going to decide not to throw a charge reef here instead forcing the opponent to throw the go for swift there i'm going to trust in my don fan with a shield advantage and they come in with for alligator now with that shield advantage this is actually a positive matchup for us as we can safely shield up a hydro cannon going to over farm here throw a trailblaze just before they make it to hydro cannon number two and trailblaze will get the ko from this range and boosting our attack is huge for us because now a body slam despite being nerfed will be enough damage to take out the talent flame and a boosted mud slab takes out clefable and i'm able to take that game so GG's to opponent there into next battle to Shadow Giraffe Rig into a Shadow Typhlosion. So once again, another Incinerate user here. They would actually outpace us to a Thunder Punch, but they're not going to throw a Thunder Punch here. Instead, we're going to go straight for the Psychic Fangs, grabbing that Shield Advantage once again, and the opponent will throw a Charge Move to take us out. Now, with the debuff to their defense, I think two Mud Snaps will probably get the KO before they even make it to a Charge Move on the Typhlosion, which is huge for us. They're going to come in with a Flygon, and I will actually able to make it to a Trailblaze before they make it to a dragon claw since of course mud shot did get an energy nerf this season but i'm gonna shield anyways they farmed up a fair bit of energy they go for the dragon claw there at this point i'm actually gonna commit both my shields and then just go for a full mud sap farm down we're already boosted in our attack and it pays off as they've got a lola muck in the back so gonna fire off the body slam here body slam does big damage two more mud slaps puts them into body slam range once again so we can fire off the body slam on the cmp tie get in the ko there and we can go for a full mud slap farm down take out the fly gone and i'm able to take that game so GG's to opponent there into next battle. We see a Feraligator in the lead. So this isn't that bad of a matchup unless they're running Crunch. I think Crunch would pretty much just take us out here. But gonna no shield. Hydro Cannon honestly does a lot of damage anyways. They swap into Manda Buzz, and despite us being an electric type, because we've only got resisted charge moves, this actually isn't a positive matchup for us. You can see Dark Pulse does very nearly 50% of our HP. We can fire off a Trailblaze here and boost up our Volt Switch damage, but the charge moves they just don't do much damage whatsoever. So I'm gonna use my shield here. The opponent does full send the Dark Pulse, but either way, I think even another charge move will not get the KO there. I think they got an extra Snarl in for free, which is very unfortunate, but I don't think it matters in this case. They still would have outpaced me to the next charge move. So Ampharos losing this matchup whilst also using a shield is pretty embarrassing. But well, I've actually put them into range where we can come in and Mud Slap farm them down with my Shadow Don Fan, or at least I'm hoping I can farm them down here. But you're going to see it's going to be close. We actually don't quite get that farm down there. So I'm going to opt to go for a Trailblade 
plays to boost up my attack and they were actually at 1 HP so it KOs through the shield which is huge for me and again I can boost up my attack with the Trailblaze. Trailblaze grabs the final shield and at this point I'm definitely going to shield here as I will be able to go for a full Mudslap farm down up against Alligator. The opponent recognizes that and they've got Galarian wheezing in the back so we're double boosted. Body Slam doesn't do that much damage but the Mudslaps are seriously chunking and now we'll get a snipe with a Psyche Fangs from Giraffe Rig. Get in the KO, get in the Confusion Farm down and I'm able to take that game. So GG's to up on there into the next match. We see Shadow Giraffe Rig into Pangoro. So of course, not a very good lead match up here. Honestly, most of the time Giraffe Rig just, did just soft lose the lead. But unfortunately, I do have to swap out of this one. They're going to go for a close combat here. And as soon as they did that, I was thinking, oh, they're probably running like the double poison team that I can't remember who showcased. Probably Yonkus. But either way, unfortunately, I tried to go for a body slam there. But we ended up lagging. So I have to use both my shields there. And it turns out they're actually not running double poison anyway. So... Yeah, kind of just wasted that shield. I would have preferred to just throw a body slam straight away, but it is what it is. I should possibly be able to live this here as they just go for a swift, actually, so that's fine with me. Then I'm going to swap into a Talon Flame. We're going to come in with the Shadow Amphros, and they will make it to a charge roof here. And with shields down, this is probably the first time I've used Shadow Amphros in a long time. I forgot how squishy this thing is. It always feels a little bit bulkier when I'm facing it, but unfortunately, in the zero shield scenario, without Thunder Punch, we lose up against the Talon Flame, and they also come out with another charge roof loaded, so this is very unfortunate. I'm, of course, going to have to just sacrifice my Don fan and hope that my giraffe rig can take this game here i'm gonna fire off the psyche fangs as it will drop their defense here kind of similar to what trailblaze does except it boosts our attack instead all i've got to do here is survive one charge move and giraffe rig is not able to do that unfortunately moonblast gets the ko i actually didn't expect that but i guess i'm used to seeing moonblast from like a cresselia not take us out there but of course stab on a slightly more attack weighted pokemon like clefable it's just not gonna end well there but either way ggs to the opponent there into the next battle and the opponent is completely core broken by giraffe rig so giraffe rig might have been a bit useless in that previous battle but this battle is looking a lot better for it we're gonna swap into our amphros and actually we've got three pokemon that can deal with the tentacle fairly well as we've got super effective charge or super sorry super effective fast moves on all three pokemon but either way we get the farm down there we boost up our attack i'm actually gonna go for an extra trailblaze here essentially just forcing the opponent to throw their energy and they do exactly that so at this point, I am recognizing this will be the Home Slice Henry team, or at least a variation of it, with the Machamp in the lead and then two Poison types in the back. They're going to go for an Aquatel there. It does do some decent damage, but these Poison things, despite being buffed this season, they're just not going to be able to farm me down here. So instead, we're going to shield up the Aquatel, go for the full Mudslap farm down, and this is certainly game over. We're going to go for a Body Sam here. Could have gone for the Trailblaze. Doesn't really matter which order I throw them in. We're now going to go for the Trailblaze here. Trailblaze will be enough damage to take out the champ and I'm able to take that game. So GG's to up over there into next battle. He's Shadow Giraffe Rake into Giratina. Now, this Giratina is going to be running Dragon Breath, which is definitely a lot worse for us because Shadow Claw is actually single resisted by Giraffe Rake since it is a psychic and normal type Pokemon. But unfortunately, these Dragon Breaths are seriously chunking. We're actually not going to make it to two charge moves here. So just go for the Psychic Fangs. I swap into my Shadow Ampharos, and they will unfortunately outpace me to the first charge move. I'm a little bit bulkier here on the Ampharos, so I will let that go through. And I should be able to make it to back to back Brutal Swings before they make it to the next charge move they're actually going to use their shield here we make it to brutal swing number two and brutal swing should get the ko from this range but they actually double shield their giratina which is very interesting here they must be weak to amphros in the back but even if i shield here it doesn't really help me because i'm going to be too low to take anything out but they're going to come in with a seeking which is a very spicy pick here probably triple legacy as well so running poison jab icy wind and draw run unfortunately they do make it to the icy wind here so actually i did want to debuff myself and like clear the uh sorry clear my attack buff there but it didn't really matter as and you know if i tried to swap and make a catch there then i just would have avoided getting icy winded but either way they had a ludicolo in the back so obviously giratina very meta a bit boring in the lead but a very spicy back line unfortunately we do lose to the razor leafer but a pretty interesting team so fair play to the opponent there 
GG's there, and into the next battle, we're going to see, I can't believe, I can't remember what they led with, but they swapped into Melmetal, and you can see the superpower doesn't actually do half our health, so we should definitely live the next one, as it does debuff their attack there. We get the full mud that farm down, and they come in with a Charm Pre-Marina, so going straight for Trailblaze, Trailblaze is going to grab a shield there, we only get off one mud sap there, we don't even make it to a body Sam, but I don't think it's really going to matter there, as they now come in with a Licky Licky, unfortunately I do throw on slightly poor timing there, so it's always quite difficult to time the charge views up against rollout especially when like people are swapping in and out of matchups because the rollout animation is actually like one turn behind what it should be which does make it very confusing but either way at this point we're going to continuously boost up our attack with those trailblazes shielding up the body sam here gonna make it to another trailblaze and unfortunately we're not going to deal any damage up against the pre marina with our boosted amphros but it doesn't matter at this point i can just come in with my giraffe rig use my shield here on the hydro cannon make it to a trailblaze this is definitely over I think Psychic Fangs would have been fine, but it is a Trailblaze showcase. So Trailblaze takes out Pre-Marina, and I'm able to take that game. So GG's to up over there into the next battle. We see Copalion in the lead. So even though we're a Psychic type Pokemon up against a Fighting type Pokemon, this is unfortunately a losing matchup, at least in the one shield scenario and the zero shield scenario here. But what we're going to do is go for one extra confusion. I couldn't quite throw at perfect timing there as they would actually just outpace me to the next move, but they're actually going to swap, make a very nice catch there, catching a Psychic Fangs onto Greninja. But actually, that really helps me because now we can come in with my Shadow Amphros. And unless the opponent gets damage registration error here i should be able to go for a full volt switch farm down i get that farm down which is huge i'm not going to throw straight away here as i don't think a trailblaze or a booter swing would have got the ko they go for stone age there which is unfortunate as that does do a lot of damage but it means i can over farm a little bit more go for the trailblaze get the ko and they come in with a galissapod so i'm only going to make it to back to back brutal swings i believe so gonna fire off the first one we are boosted so i'm gonna fire off the next one straight away and then i will be swapping into my shadow don fan not giving them any extra fast moves in for free we are going to have to shield this up here the opponent is going to go for the liquidation there it does not drop my defense although it doesn't really matter the next liquidation will certainly get the ko we go for the trailblaze boosting up the attack there and i'm hoping i put them into range where we can farm down with giraffe rig it's going to be very close though liquidation gets the ko here i thought about coming with amphros but you can see we've got like literally one hp there giraffe rig comes in and the confusion does get the ko there i'm able to take out galissapod and i'm able to take that game so GG's to opponent there into the next battle. We see Tentacruel in the lead. So a great lead matchup for us once again. And once again, a Pokemon that all three Pokemon on my team should be able to deal with deal with fairly comfortably. They're actually just going to fire off an Aster Spray. So absolutely fine with me. I'm going to go for the Psychic Fangs here. They're going to shield that up here. And we're going to make it to another Psychic Fangs in time, which is very nice. And Psychic Fangs is actually going to grab both shields from the opponent. So very interesting from the opponent there. We are going to come in with my Shadow Amphros. I just wasn't sure if they were at a school already. And it turns out they're just going to go straight for another Acid Spray. But they've got Verizion in the back. So maybe I've made a mistake there not swapping at my Giraffe Rig once they debuff me with an Acid Spray. Because unfortunately, Verizion is going to be very difficult to deal with with my backline. We've only got Body Sound for neutral damage. And as well, it's just going to absolutely destroy my Dawn Fan. But they do swap out of that matchup which does give me some hope here as I can go for the Trailblaze. They also just went straight for Swift, which is fine with me, as it means I know I can let that first one go through, shield up the next one, and I'm able to go for a full Mudsat farm down, which is huge for me. I can now fire off back-to-back -back Body Sams. First one will be coming through. Doesn't do that much damage, but a second one will hopefully put them into range where Amphros, with only resisted moves, can get the KO here. So it will be close. They do have a lot of energy now. They're going to fire off the Sacred Sword there, and we should just go straight for Trailblaze but I make a huge mistake. I tried to throw on good timing, but I just lost track of their energy. They're able to take me out with a Sacred Sword, get the double kick farm down, and unfortunately, we do lose that game. So GG's to opponent there. Definitely poor play from me in the end game. But anyways, into the next battle, we're going to see a Shadow, a load of Ninetales in the lead. So once again, just going to stay in, soft lose the lead, possibly grab a shield. We actually don't grab the shield there. The post going to swap into a Shadow for Alligator, and this is fine with me. I could have tried to go for a Trailblaze here, but I'm not sure if I would have lived two more Shadow Claws. And as well, if the opponent wanted to, they could have just thrown a Hydro Cannon before that. But either way, because we go for the Tiger Fangs, I can shield once, go for the full farm down. 
And we are going to go straight for the Trailblaze into the Ninetales coming back in and we win CMP, which is very nice. This is going to boost up our attack here. I'm going to no shield this as the opponent is going to go for the Weather Ball. Weather Ball does some okay-ish damage. They're going to come in with a Shadow Typhlosion and I should be able to grab the final shield with a boosted Brutal Swing here, which I do. We can now come in with the Shadow Donphan and it doesn't matter what they throw here. I'm just going to safely shield this up. They go for a Thunder Punch bait. Doesn't really matter. They're not making it to a Blast Burn. We get the farm down. We come out with a Trailblaze load and Trailblaze will be taking out the Alola Ninetales and I'm able to take that game. So GG's to up over there into the next battle. We're going to see Shadow Giraffe Rig into Galissapod. So a fairly neutral-ish lead. It is going to depend. If they're running Exorcism, then this is just a very bad lead. But if they're not, then this should be okay. And the opponent's going to go for an Aerial Ace. So very unlikely that they're running Aerial Ace and Exorcism. And they definitely shouldn't go for the Aerial Ace in that situation. And because we go for Trailblaze there, we boost up our attack. And now we can start debuffing their defense as well. So going to go for the Psychic Fangs. Psychic Fangs is no shielded by the Skeletor here and at this point i think i'm just gonna let giraffe go down we put them into range where don fan will be able to take them out with the mud tap damage but they've actually got trevenant in the back and that is honestly one of the worst things we can see especially when we are at a shield disadvantage here seed bomb does some pretty decent damage here and it will actually put me into farm down range with the shadow claw damage unless the opponent throws another charge move which if they're smart they should just opt for the full shadow claw farm down as i won't make it to another brutal swing if they don't throw a charge move and the opponent is smart Smart enough to recognize that and at this point i'm smart enough to recognize that don fan has zero play up against the trevenant so i'm not gonna bother shielding they actually swap out there giving me a maybe a slight extra advantage maybe a slither of hope there and especially since they throw a charge move as well but either way i recognize that even if i went for a trailblaze and a body slam if i got there in time it still probably wouldn't get the ko so i just let them Don't fan go down there but GG's to opponent there into the next battle. We see Shadow Dragonite in the lead now. I was desperately trying not to throw on CMP here and lose CMP up against Dragonite, but instead the opponent plays that very smartly. They basically just continuously over farmed until the point where I had to throw a charge weave and they throw right at the last second. So very smart there. Either way, I am able to take out the Dragonite, but they're going to come in with a Registeel. Of course, I would prefer my Don Fan aligned here, but I've got at least neutral damage with the Brutal Swings and I did farm up to a potential Focus Blast. Or actually, I'm not sure if I did there, but either way, they they end up shielding anyway so i'm not going to complain at this point i'm going to let the zap cannon take us out don't really know why they went for zap cannon there i, I mean i was not going to shield that anyways but we come in with the shadow dawn fan i'm definitely going to shield this because they've got zero fast speed pressure with the registeel and they actually come in with a gengar so i'm going straight for the trailblaze here trailblaze is going to be shielded we then swap into my shadow giraffe rig here i'm going straight for the psychic fangs psychic fangs actually doesn't get the ko there but we do get the farm down we can now go for another psychic fangs into registeel coming back in psychic fangs is not going to do much damage it drops their defense though it puts them into range where mud, one mud slap will get the ko focus blast would not be taking us out there so the opponent just can seize the match so gg to up over there into next battle and this is one of the worst leads we could see with my giraffe rig so i'm going to say swap into my shadow don fan unfortunately this is also a losing matchup but i can at least in the one shield scenario reach a trailblaze and if nothing else it's at least going to grab a shield back from the opponent and the mud slaps are chunking a fair bit so it's not the worst thing ever we do get them into range where actually amphros can come in and just go for a vault switch farm down but it's still definitely not ideal so we're going to wait out the switch lock come in with the amphros at this point i'm just going to let this move go through i can't really afford to shield this as the opponent goes for the hydro cannon we will be able to go for the vault switch farm down and let's see what the opponent wants to do they're going to come in with a verizion so definitely not great for my amphros and they've got chrysalia in the back so this is looking like it's already game over here we're going straight for trailblaze boosting up our attack and i'm going to shield the first charge move just because if they land a moon blast they can just start going for grass knots but unfortunately they drop my attack again with the moon blast so at this point this is certainly game over i'm just trying to think is there anything i can possibly do here i'm going to continuously over farm swap into my amphros and i do make it to the brutal swing but brutal swing still won't get the ko up against chrysalia they come back in with verizion and unfortunately a charge move will be taking us out we can fire off back to back psychic fangs here but it's just not going to matter even when we do connect the second psychic fangs it's not going to be enough damage to take out verizion from this hp so psychic fangs doesn't get the KO there. Double Kick does take out the Giraffe Rig though, and unfortunately we do lose that game. 
But GG's to Oppo there. Into the next battle, we see a Gallade in the lead. So honestly, if they go straight for a close combat here, then it's probably going to one-shot us, but they bait with a Leaf Blade, so fine with me. They're now going to swap into Licky Licky here. I did actually wait one turn to make sure they didn't make a catch, but then when I saw it was Licky Licky, actually, I was pretty happy to just debuff their defense. And this should make it easier for my Shadow Don fan. And a tip for Licky Licky users, if you're going up against a Pokemon like a Don fan or just anything that is weak to grass, maybe farm up to a potential Solar Beam before throwing a Charge move and that might threaten a shield but it looks like the opponent probably running shadow ball and earthquake there as they don't even reach another body sam we now go for the trailblaze trailblaze is going to grab a shield up against the galade and at this point i recognize i can just shield this go for the mudstack farm down we're already boosted we're already menaced to this team let's see what shadow don't find can do and they come in with a shadow for alligator so I should be grabbing the final shield with a trailblaze i'm going to swap into my giraffe rig and the opponent doesn't even throw a charge move we're able to make it to the Psycho Fangs. Psycho Fangs gets the KO and I'm able to take that game. So GG's top over there into next battle. He's Shadow Giraffe Rig into Shadow Machamp. So a great lead matchup for me. The opponent is going to stay in initially, maybe waiting to see if it was confusion. And they stayed in for way too long there, but they did bank a lot of energy on their Machamp. And Machamp is very dangerous this season with the energy generation of that Karate Chop. At this point, I can live any one charge move they throw. They go for the Fly there for some reason, which doesn't really make sense whatsoever. But either way, we get the Volt Switch farm down. I realize they're going to be two away from the next charge move, so I actually just go for an extra Volt Switch there. We're now going to fire off the Trailblaze. Trailblaze will be coming through. It grabs the shield, and now we can go for a Brutal Swing, boosted up our attack. Brutal Swing will get the KO, and they actually shield so very clear that weak to Amphros in the back it's probably for alligator as for alligator it's on a lot of teams in the ultra league and in the great league and there it is we're already boosted this trailblade is going to hit for super effective damage it actually doesn't quite get the one shot there but it doesn't matter we can snipe with the giraffe rig and i'm able to take that game so GG to open there into next battle, we see Amphrost in the lead. So this is okay for us, but I will be swapping into my own Amphrost to catch what well, I'm hoping to be a Brutal Swing. If they Trailblaze here, that's not going to be ideal, but it is the Brutal Swing. So they're going to swap, and unfortunately we're met with a Verizion. So at this point, I'm actually just happy to let Amphrost go down here. Sacred Sword doesn't actually get the KO there, but instead we're going to farm up as much energy as possible, baiting like we've got a potential Focus Blast. Unfortunately, we don't have Focus Blast there, so we have to settle for a Trailblaze, but we've boosted our attack. Now we go for a Brutal Swing, and we do actually get them into the yellow health range. I'm hoping, I'm hoping a Psychic Fangs will get the KO. As we come in with Giraffe Rig, we win CMP here. Psychic Fangs actually just barely doesn't get the KO there. So unfortunate. But the opponent can fire off a Sacred Sword there. So probably running Stone Edge for coverage as the secondary charge move. Otherwise, Leaf Blade would be better. But either way, they're going to come in with a Galissapod. So I'm not going to throw straight away here. I was just trying to either force the opponent to throw on poor timing or just not throw on poor timing myself and now it's much easier i can go for one mud slap go for the trailblaze grab a shield from the opponent and even these resistant mud slaps have got them into the yellow health range which is insane from the shadow don fan i'm now gonna go for one extra mud slap go for the body slam and i will be able to go for one extra mod slap once again fire off the body slam and they are one away from the next liquidation so hopefully i can get the ko with the mud slap but the opponent gets damage registration error and that is awful for me because liquidation gets the ko if we took them out there with the mud sap damage the opponent would have made it to a charge move on their amphros but you can see we were one confusion away from a psychic fangs i would have been able to take out the amphros there but unfortunately they get damage registration error and they're able to take that game so GG's to opponent there, and I'm also not trying to say like, oh, they don't deserve to get damage registration error. It's just a really annoying mechanic that sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. And it basically means that you can't really rely on playing a certain way. You just either get lucky or you have to swap out and make that catch there, which I didn't really want to do. So yeah, just a frustrating game mechanic. I wish Niantic would do something about it. But either way, it's still a lot better than it used to be with like stuff like sneaking and denying, which no longer well sort of no longer exists if you lag then you might actually just get denied but that's a different thing altogether but either way we're gonna fire off the charge move here up against this licky licky they're gonna go for the shadow ball which actually doesn't get the ko and then they snipe with the florages but that's okay with me we're gonna come in with our giraffe rig, go straight for psychic fangs and it looks like a cmp tie which is great for me because psychic fangs not gonna do too much damage there but it does force them to throw their energy straight away they go for disarming voice i'm hoping with the debuff to their defense we can get the mod slap farm down but we're not able to do so so barely not able to, but I'm just going to no shield this. I have to just trust in my Don fan once again. 
and they come in with Greninja, and Greninja is not going to appreciate the Trailblaze damage. It does huge damage. They fire off the charge for you, but I've still got a shield. I'm going to use the shield there. They go for Night Slash, and now at this point, I'm going to overfarm just slightly, fire off the Body Slam, and of course, with the boost, Body Slam will get the KO up against the Licky Licky, and I'm able to take that game. So GG set up on their internet battle to Shadow Giraffic into a Swampert. So of course, we've got three Pokemon that are running Trailblaze, but actually, I think Swampert can still beat all three Pokemon in even shield scenarios, or at least in the one shield scenario. So definitely not that ideal for me. I'm going to no shield this, and then I think I will let Giraffic go down here. But actually, I probably shouldn't have done that because I thought, oh, maybe I'll make it to a Psycho Fangs. No, nope, I was wrong, and now the opponent will make it to back-to-back -back Hydro Cannons. I'm still gonna have to double shield anyways. I'm just double shielding a different Pokemon this time in Donphan, so gonna use my second shield here. I will be able to go for the Mudsap farm down, however, which is nice. And let's see, the opponent comes in with a Feraligator, so interesting running Swampert and then Feraligator in the back. Of course, if they see a Grass type in the lead, then they're kind of just screwed, but either way, we're not running Grass in the lead, so I guess that's fine. They go for the Hydro Cannon there, and they're gonna swap into a Giratina now. If I'm able to make it to back-to-back -back Brutal Swings here, I think we might be able to win this game, and we are just barely able to get there. I think the opponent might have been able to get to a Charizard move at that point but that's fine with me the opponent commits to a full shadow claw farm down but we can come back in with the don fan unless this is a shadow force which it isn't it's actually just a shadow sneak which definitely isn't the right move to go for you should be going for dragon claw but either way i think they were only making it two two charge moves anyways so it doesn't really matter. I can now fire off the Trailblaze as they swap back into for Alligator. We get the KO, we get the Mudsat farm down up against the Giratina and I'm able to take that game. So GG set up over there into next battle. We can see a Shadow Machamp in the lead. And we are running a slightly different order. Basically, these are the first few battles I did. And I was running Giraffe Rig, I think, with Double Kick initially, which just didn't really work out for me whatsoever. Especially up against a Drapion, which is just going to completely hard wall the charge views that we've got on our Shadow Giraffe Rig. At this point, I'm going to let the Crunch go through and take us out. And I'm thinking, you know what? It's probably going to be Double Poison in the back. So I'm actually going to do something a little bit strange here and come in with my Shadow Ampharos because... I can just let this move go through. If they're running Arquitel, which they are, then that would do a lot of damage up against my Don Fan, which I don't really want. So instead, gonna fire off the Trailblaze. Trailblaze actually grabs a shield from the opponent, which is very interesting. Again, just gonna no shield this as the opponent goes for an Aquatel bait once again, and then they fire off another charge move. And this time the opponent goes for crunch there, so don't really know why they wanted to bait both times there. But either way, trusting in my Shadow Don Fan with two shields to sweep this game. Let's see if we can do it here. We're going to shield the first move as they go for the cross chop. I go for one extra mind stat, but they make it to another cross chop already. Insane energy generation there. Actually, it ends up being a licky licky in the back anyway, so it wasn't the scun tank or a tentacle or anything like that so unfortunately there's not a lot we can do here i kind of just have to no shield the opponent goes for a body sam taking out the don fan and unfortunately we do lose that game but gg's top over there into next battle we see a rayquaza in the lead so very cool to see here i'm going to shield the first charge move here then i'm going to go for two extra volt switches then fire off the brutal swing they did debuff my attack though which is very unfortunate and it means brutal swing won't get the ko so i swap into my giraffe rig i try to get the snipe there but they're able to make it to the breaking swipe and deal that damage before my confusion registers which is very unfortunate once again an inconsistent game mechanic there but either way gonna fire off the psycho fangs and the opponent's gonna throw their energy straight away so fine with me again another very spicy pick from the opponent there running rayquaza and Shadow Zapdos. I'm very interested to see what they've got on the back. But we come in with our Ampharos and it's a Feraligator. So that's absolutely fine with me. We fire off the first Trailblaze. We make it to a second Trailblaze here. And Trailblaze with the boost will be getting the KO. And as well, they've got Thunder Shocks, which are resisted damage. So I'm able to make it to the Brutal Swing. Of course, I'm going to shield this up. I might as well sweep with the Ampharos here, firing off the Brutal Swing. And Brutal Swing with a double boost will certainly get the KO up against the Zapdos. And I'm able to take that game. So GG to up over there into the final battle of this video, I do believe. And we lead into Verizion. So this is a huge core breaker for the team. And this is actually why I then swapped and ran Giraffe Rig in the lead. Just because I saw a few Verizion in the lead. I saw a few Chestnut in the lead. It was just really difficult to come back from. Because I definitely can't swap into my Don Fan. And if I swap into my Giraffe Rig, they're just going to take me out of there. So instead, just going to let the Ampharos go down. I did actually... 
over farm a little bit there. We're now going to come in with Jirafric, and once again, we are running double kick as the fast move. So unfortunately, Confusion would absolutely slaughter the Verizion here, and it would definitely put them into range where a Psychic Fangs would get the KO. But unfortunately, from this range, it actually just barely doesn't get the KO there with the double kick damage. So at this point, I'm just going to fully sacrifice my Jirafric and hope that Shadow Donphan can do something in the back. And already, it's paying off because they've got a Shadow Amphros. We're going to shut up the Trailblaze. I can go for a full Mud that farm down, get the farm down before they make it to another charge move, and they've got Heliolisk in the back, so this is huge for me. I can go for the Trailblaze, ramping up my attack there. I'm going to fire off another Trailblaze just because I can. I don't even need to throw any charge moves at this point, but now these Mud Saps are absolutely destroying the Heliolisk, and I will be able to Mud Slap farm down the Vrizion, so the opponent just can seize the match there. So that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, please make sure you leave a like, leave a comment letting me know, and as well, don't forget to respond to the question of the day if you haven't done so already, and if you want to see more content like this in the future, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. That way you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. And if you want to take your support even further, you can now become a channel member with perks including early access to new videos, shoutouts at the end of each video, custom loyalty badges, and custom emojis to use in the comments. I want to say a massive thank you to everyone that has already become a channel member. Your support is greatly appreciated. And with that being said, thank you all so much for watching today's video, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.